Our provincial capital has always nurtured a vibrant art scene. The local galleries and public spaces feature works of artists from all corners of our province. In fact, Canada's most celebrated female artist was born here in Victoria. In the same year, British Columbia became Canada's sixth province. Emily Carr was born in this house in 1871, just a few blocks from the present-day Parliament buildings, which as a teenager, Emily described as magnificent stone structures, everything benefiting a capital city. Young Emily had a yearning to travel. After her parents died when she was still in her teens, she left Victoria to study art, first in San Francisco, later in London and Paris, where she learned new styles of painting. When Emily returned to her hometown in 1913, she used it as a base for her travels throughout the province. Emily became fascinated with the art and culture of the First Nations people, and she visited many of the settlements to make paintings of their totem poles. She was intrigued by the Aboriginal people she met and made friends with many of them. The Nuchalnoth called her Kliwik, which means laughing one. She also fell in love with the dense forests of the West Coast and developed a unique visual style that captured their moody, ever-changing patterns. Emily would bring her sketchbooks and studies back home to Victoria, where she painted the finished works in her studio. When she died in 1945, she bequeathed her paintings to the Vancouver Art Gallery and the BC Archives here in Victoria. Her childhood home is now a National Historic Site. Through her art and her writings, Emily Carr left her legacy of creativity and independence to the people of British Columbia and the world.